Hello, my name is Jessica and I'm from Anvil Analytics and Insights and today I wanted to go over what statistical significance means. So in this video we won't get into the math behind how to calculate it or anything like that, but I wanted to go over the basic concept and so you can understand what it means if one of your test results comes back statistically insignificant or statistically significant. So to start with, we're going to be running the CRO test, we're going to be running AB test, multivariate test, all of the above. And the important thing for us to remember is that sometimes results of these experiments happen just because of fluke occurrences. So a great example of this is like a roulette wheel or flipping a coin. You know, we know that the odds of getting red or black on a roulette wheel are the same. But if we spin the roulette wheel 10 times, we may get black seven, red three. You know, there's always that chance that the results from our sample aren't going to perfectly align with the results that we would get if we would roll it out to the actual population. Same thing with flipping a coin. We could flip the coin and get six tails and four heads. It's a fluke occurrence. Really, we have a 50-50% chance. So we don't, you know, if this is something that we're doing on our website, we wouldn't want to implement something that, you know, maybe isn't exactly accurate or doesn't actually represent the entire population. So before you run any test, you're going to want to set a confidence interval. What that means is that you pick um, that confidence interval that you want. So a lot of times industry standard is 95%. So what that means is at the end of the results, you need to be 95% confident that the results that you achieved were because of that variable that you influenced, not because of chance. And if it doesn't meet that 95% confidence level, that result is said to be insignificant. So going back to the coins, if you get six heads, four tails, you actually have a winner there. You know, the heads appears to be the better option based on the test, but those results aren't statistically significant at the 95% confidence level. We can't say that we're 95% sure that that's what will happen in real life whenever we roll it out to the broader website and we actually start getting the data from the entire population. So that's extremely important, um, just understanding that just because a test is said to be insignificant doesn't mean that there's a winner or a loser. There may be one that actually performs better, but we cannot say that with the confidence level that we determined earlier that it's going to be consistent across that site once we roll it out. So that's really what statistical significance means. Now, one thing I know a lot of people ask, what impacts our ability to achieve statistical significance? The number one thing that's going to impact this is your sample size. The larger your sample size, the easier it is to achieve statistical significance. You need less of a variation in results between your two, between your two variants than you would if you had a much smaller sample size. So if you have a sample size of a thousand, you're much more likely going to achieve statistical significance than if you had a sample size of 10. I hope this helps. Stay tuned for more. Subscribe to our newsletter at anvilinsights.com and we will keep pushing tips, tricks, little tidbits of information like this about Google Analytics, Data Studio, BigQuery, conversion rate optimization testing, and lots more. So stay tuned.